A full look at our storm tracker forecast, and from what we're hearing from Tim, we're going to love this forecast. Tim? Did you love today? Yes. Yeah, it was spectacular. Unfortunately, this is the time of the year. Now we start losing the sun earlier, being in standard time, which means our web cameras we utilize go to night vision. So bear with me for a second as we show off Whitehall. Rob, it looked spectacular moments ago, didn't it? Check out social media. Rob just posted the picture. But play along with me here because we're going to go from Whitehall to Germantown. And look at the view from here because that's what we saw up at Whitehall looking spectacular from Lasher Memorial Park. And another vantage point where we will be able to check out the beautiful sun setting across the western horizon is with photojournalist Dave Miner out in the mobile storm tracker. Look at that orange tinge to the sky. Looking spectacular from East Greenbush as we look back toward Empire State Plaza and the Capitol. All right, last check in Albany. We were sitting at 58 degrees. We're also at 58 as we make our way toward Hudson, 52 at North Adams, 57 at Bennington, and at Cobo Skill, 53 Glens Falls, 50 at Johnstown, 50 as well at Lake Pleasant. Satellite weather composite warm front has ended up moving pretty much across most of the region. High pressure has now shifted offshore. This is the surface reflection and the return flow helping to bring in that milder air. And there's nothing but spectacular weather across a good portion of the lower 48, minus this stuff in the northern Rockies and this disturbance in mid country. Temperature wise, <laughs> how's this for November 4th? 70s as you make your way all the way to the eastern slopes of the Rockies and that air will continue to dominate the seam and I indicated high pressure at the surface but high pressure in the interstate of the atmosphere what we call the jet stream is going to be able to prevent this boundary from making any progress through the region come Friday and we will stay in the 60s once we get there for highs tomorrow afternoon the future cast heading through tonight Mainly clear skies as we head through tomorrow. Another day filled with some sunshine. Here's that boundary north and west on Thursday. Trying to come on through, but as you can see, it may get through our northern counties. That would be about it. A benign weather pattern, unheard of for the first half of November, but nonetheless, we'll take it as money in the bank. Forecast highs for Thursday. 64 in Albany, 63 at Pittsfield, 65 at Hudson to 61 at Glens Falls, 64 at Johnstown, 65 at Cobleskill, and near 60 for Lake Pleasant and Big Moose. Forecast highs on Friday, pretty much within a degree or two, especially Albany southbound as we get into the mid 60s. Ah, this weekend is going to look and feel spectacular. So if you didn't get a chance to get your leaves up, Last weekend, where you tried and you were chasing them, <laughs> this weekend will be even better. I think Lydia was chasing them. Forecast for tonight, mostly clear, rather mild, down to 44 tomorrow. Mostly sunny and mild, and high is 64. Rest of the extended forecast, fantastic on Friday, mid-60s, upper 60s Saturday, 67, even more sunshine on Sunday. And we continue to hang out in the mid-60s, still dry at this point in time until perhaps the second half of next Wednesday. Lydia. You're chasing leaves in the rain, Tim, but this weekend, putting up Christmas.